everyone, this is Honeywell, and it's day four on Honeydale Farm. We'll check the TV, even though it's sunny, it doesn't really affect us right now. And good humor. And here's the uh, spring onion tip, which we've been uh, exploiting since day one. Uh, water our crops real quick and then I think we're just gonna spend we'll go get some onions and we'll just spend the day uh, clearing out weeds and chopping down trees and see where that gets us I'm pretty sure the mine opens up tomorrow maybe even the community center too if we go to town in fact I'm almost positive of that So today we're just gonna uh, maybe see if we can get one more skill of foraging before we go to the mine and uh, and that sort of stuff. Do I want the hoe and the axe? I'm not gonna fish. Okay, we're still gonna run down for the onions. Hopefully they're. There is lots and lots for us to uh, to pick up. Uh, Cause I'd like to have a few, uh, a stack to go into the mines with. Because for foraging is uh, great, but you can't do anything without ore. Ore is the is the real progression. We need to get some copper so we can get a furnace, um, get our axe and pickaxe upgraded. Uh, you know, all that good stuff. Let's do this and. I was gonna cut down a tree for Leah to see if she uh, if she got mad again, but I'm already out of bag space because I brought all these tools with me. Look, Ugh, I wasn't thinking. Sweet. Yes, please. Thank you. All the onions. And I'll even come down here for you. Great. just gonna head back to the farm. Oh, someone had, um, if I see them, someone asked whether or not the, uh, the worms were twigs. Um, yeah, in the game, the game files call the little bits of, uh, sticks that come up out of the ground and wiggle. Um, when the when the game had uh, first launched, nobody knew about those or what they were or that you could dig them up with your hoe. Um, and so for like weeks afterwards, everyone was like, don't forget the worms, get the worms. And then later on, there was a, uh, a living on the land episode, I think that, uh, that calls them stems. But everyone had uh, already called them worms for so long that it just stuck. That's what they are to me. Um, you know, they're in the ground, they wiggle. Uh, so it just seems. <laughs> uh, so they will forever be worms. I think the game refers to them as stems though. And I really need to just start uh, cutting down some trees and quit with the with the seeds. Uh, but we've been really unlucky with the forage 
and I haven't been able to make any uh, seeds to sell, so. Um, when our when our first crop of uh, parsnips come in and we get our first farming level, I'm gonna want more crops than, than we have. Uh, just, I mean, we need to make some money here. I mean, this is a pretty uh, casual playthrough, but I mean, I haven't, I, I mean, there's no doubt about it. The objective of the game is to make money, you know, so you can uh, afford a backpack and stuff. And fishing pole upgrades. Money is, uh, money is important. Uh, but today we'll just uh, spend our energy on uh, chopping down trees, uh, just so I can get some uh, a little bit more foraging experience. Uh, wood for chests. Uh, we'll want to put a, a chest by the blacksmith and one outside the mines. Uh, because the backpack is not going to be the first upgrade that um, I'll get. I'll want um, at least my... I'll probably want my axe first. Um, possibly my pickaxe. And I need 2,000 on the 13th for strawberry seeds, plus, it sounds like my real world finances, like I have a, a budget going on here, um, and then besides that, what else, oh, and I need seeds to, uh, to plant, uh, the more the better, so, not, I mean, for money, but also for, um, for farming levels. It'd be nice to get some uh, preserve jars soon, as soon as we're able to, which, I mean, that's, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. <laughs> uh... And what else? I don't know, lots of stuff. Exhausted. Hmm. I was kind of saving my um, my field snacks, my seeds. for when I really need them, but... And if I didn't need them, then I could just plant the, uh, the acorns, but... It's still pretty early, so maybe I'll, uh... Let's drop off some stuff and see where we're at. Well, you know, after I stop with the weeds, this is very satisfying to, uh, to, I don't know, take down these weeds. It's like popping bubble paper or something. I could do it all day. Let's see, we're up to 11 seeds. That's not that bad. Uh, only, that's not very much wood. Let's do, let's do a couple of field snacks. You leave from the chest. Restore some of our energy. 
uh, chop down some more trees, like, like this mess over here. <laughs> Have I been leaving mixed seeds on the ground? I would not be happy about that. I don't even want to know. If you've seen me leave mixed seeds, don't tell me. need to uh, take some time and plan out my farm so I'm not wandering around aimlessly. Like, what do I do next? If I knew where I wanted things, I could be, like, clearing that area instead of uh, just going everywhere. I mean, not that this is... This is bad. But it's a uh, it's pretty aimless. Which I don't mind. But I feel like uh since I'm recording this, I should have like some sort of objective. So you guys can uh kinda follow along with what I'm doing. probably have time to uh, spin around and see if there's any forage out. This is going to be an absolute mess to clean up with the stumps. But it, I mean, it's, it really does help. Like, this is probably a because the higher you're foraging, the less energy it takes, the more wood that you get. So leaving the stumps for later when it, you can take them out quicker for less energy, I mean, that only makes sense. the rest of this stuff. Uh, we'll go... Mm, let's take those just in case we need them. And our fishing pole. We're not gonna need that. Let's go uh, see how fast we can uh, circle the town to see if there's any forage about. They usually... Like, forage is supposed to spawn every day, I think, but... Another Joja Cola. This town has a serious soda habit that they need to give up. It's no good for you. It is no good. Yeah, no forage. Oh, the beach. Duh. I would think that would be our best chance for a forage, right? Uh, or the trash cans. Let's go say hi. Who's here? No one's like, no one's here. Hey, Shane. I will leave you alone. Don't you worry. You are the town blacksmith. We met. Remember you came by my house? Hi, fam. Gus. Gus, you are good people. If I could marry... Uh, anyone in uh, Pelican Town, it would be Gus. He's a good guy. He owns his own business. He's not a jerk. <laughs> He's always happy. He cooks good food. Gus is the Gus is the, like the the bachelor of Pelican Town. He is not Shane or Sebastian, ladies. 
nothing. Wow, this playthrough, I've never had the beach be so unprofitable before. I mean, it's only day four though. But usually there's all kinds of, uh, all kinds of money to be had at the beach. I'm like reduced to uh, rummaging through trash bins looking for money. Okay, well, that was an exciting day four. And tomorrow, hopefully, uh, some more options will uh, open up, like the mines and the community center. Which makes the game more interesting, just because, you know, there's a reason to check the TV to see what the luck is and that sort of thing. Uh, 14 seeds. That'll replace our parsnips when they come up in a day or two. Okay, yeah. Uh, a very boring, a boring day, but not unproductive. Yes, we'll go to sleep for the night. Level 3 foraging, and we can make tappers, but we have no iron. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll come back for the next episode. Bye-bye.